Would you like to take your old family photo from this to this? I'll show you how to do this in an ongoing series of videos. Welcome back to another episode on Genealogy TV. And this is the second video in the Walls Family Photo Restoration Series. If we've not met before, my name is Connie Knox. I am a lifelong genealogist, photographer, and video professional helping you go further faster, but factually with your family research. I'm here going through the process of restoring this old family photo using Adobe's Photoshop software. In the last episode, we took the time of labeling all of the people in the photograph as a first step in the family photo preservation project using the text tool. We'll move on in the process here in just a moment, but I want to remind you, if you've not subscribed, please do so right here. Also, ring the bell so that you get notified of the next time we upload videos. Now, let's get started in the second video in this series about how to start repairing that crack in the image. And it all starts with a good selection. So the first thing we're going to do, and you've got the zoom tool over here. We can zoom in a little bit to take a closer look at that. And one of the reasons why, let me go back. One of the reasons why I want to work on uh, fixing the crack first. Is I don't want to go in and fix all the spots and I don't want to go in and create a contrast and start working on pulling the image out a little bit more until I fix this crack. So that's what we're going to work on first. And to do so, it starts with a good selection and we need to what we need to do is select this part of the image right here in order to get a really good selection and then we can uh, make a better fit. So we're going to start with the selection tool and we're going to talk about the selection tools uh, in this episode. You can create a selection with uh, any of these but we're going to try and create a quick selection by using this tool and we're just going to click and drag and we've got a really good start. Now this needs some cleanup and we can zoom in and when we zoom in we can add or subtract. Now you can add or subtract using these tools. I like to use the alt tool because it's faster. I'm working on a PC. I need to back and get my quick selection tool again. Quick selection tool. So this brush is a little too big using the bracket keys on the keyboard the left bracket makes things the brush smaller the right bracket makes it bigger using the left bracket we make the brush as small as possible I'm going to use the alt key but I could uh, select the minus button up here but I'm going to use the alt key which turns my brush into a minus and I'm going to very carefully select around here. Now we don't have to be absolutely perfect but a good selection is a great start to fixing this image. Now I've got a better selection here and again I'm going to hold the Alt key because my selection is here in this corner so I want to subtract out this extra piece here so that I'm only getting the edges of the thing. Now this part where the image is torn I'm going to subtract that out here and I'm going to then push down again the space bar gives me the hand tool which allows me to move around again hold the alt key down to get the minus selection and we're going to carefully draw in here in order to change our selection so the whole purpose of a selection is because what we select is going to be what we manipulate. Again, Alt Tool, I'm going to minus this out. Moving down, this looks pretty good. <clears throat> I'm going to leave the border of the image in for now. This is the border around the outer part of the image, and it looks really clean going up here. Looks good. It looks good. But the better selection you start with, the better results in the end. Alright, so we'll come back to our zoom tool and I'm going to hit fit to screen and now you can see I have selected just the corner. Now what we're going to do with that selection before we do anything else is we're going to make a copy so that that selection stands alone on its own layer. 
So to do that we go Control J and now if we scroll down to our layers over here and we turn off the background you can see that we have just that corner. Now what we can do is take the move tool and we can move that corner and that's this double headed arrow double headed cross up here is our move tool and what we can do is we can move that corner around when we have that layer selected so we can then literally fit that piece back into our image see that we can come in here and we can fit that little corner back in and we're going to zoom in and take a look at that with the zoom tool. We click, click, click when the plus is on and we can see it. Go back to our move tool and you can see how we're moving that back into place from where it was originally torn. And uh, that is looking pretty good. So the next thing I want to do is I want to copy that layer because I don't want to mess with that layer. I'm going to drag that down to the copy tool and make a copy. So what I can do is I'm going to label this. You know, you can double click on these and label original corner. And I'm going to turn that off because I don't want to mess with it. Because what I'm about to do is merge some layers together. And so I'm going to drag this down underneath here. I've got my copy. And what I can do now is because I've got the original background layer right here and I've got the original corner here. I'm going to leave those alone in case I want to come back. If I make a mistake, I can come back to those. So I'm going to take these two layers and I'm going to merge them. Merge layers. And now I have that fixed as one layer. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and clean up this crack a little bit more using the spot healing tool right here, the spot healing brush tool in the next episode. As I said before, repairing the crack and literally moving the corner of this image back into place starts with a good selection. Now we have the corner back in place and in the next video is where the real magic starts to happen as we start to repair that crack using the spot healing tool. If you found this interesting, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll get notified of the next time we upload videos, but you won't want to miss the next one. It's amazing what this software will do, especially with a little practice. Until next time, keep on climbing your family tree.